Hi guys. Yeah, you can see that some production did uh, make way a little bit. Got uh, cleared out a lot of this dirt. Dug out some more. Brought up a lot of gravel. Filled this whole place up with gravel. Made a nice little air tunnel that comes through here. Sticks out the back. It's either going to suck air in or pull air out, depending on what what it's going to do. Just an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to be you know functional or not but I just wanted a little convection airflow which is good I brought all these stones up all this gravel we got a wall started here I'm gonna do the same thing with this side brace it up so I mean honestly and all, all I'm just doing is finding stuff around the just around the house just to grab throw grab throw grab throw build 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 so it's been pretty 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 easy quick process honestly the only thing that's really really been tough is getting the stuff up here because it's not you know it's not it's an up it's an up uphill grade I got to come around from the house come up here and you know taking these stones up and these big uh, buckets of gravel and stuff was I'd say I was breathing heavy you know these big stones here these are big one piece big stones cement uh, fireplace stones that I had someone had before they were just thrown in the woods kind of down by the house cracked in half so I just kind of made a little tunnel with them and a big flat stone on top for a step so that's not going anywhere so now I got a little step kind of made a little hearth here uh, plan on actually instead of making like a big fire pit I'm actually planning as first I was gonna make kind of like a raised fire pit kind of thing but instead I have an uh, old stock pot I'm gonna drill holes into it put bricks in through here just like set it, I'll set it on the bricks drill holes on the stock pot just have a pot fire until I build a little wood stove here in here the, my one daughter, oldest daughter, was up early out here hanging out with me while I was building. It was pretty good. Um, yeah, until then, this has been, this will be a really quick out and about. Just a little part two of a, is it, a Diary of the Blind, Journal from the Blind. I don't know. I said something, but I can't remember what I said. But that might be what it's called. I'm not sure. But out and about with PA Brew News yet again. Yep, just to kind of enjoying the great day I mean we said it was supposed to be crappy on Tuesday and it was nice and it was overcast but it was nice so I was outside doing stuff doing some beer reviews and today again beautiful day I have to go to work so it kind of sucks that I'm wide awake it's almost one o'clock now and uh, I have work at six 12 hour shift and I'm not even close to being ready to take a nap or anything I'd rather just keep working on this all day than, uh, than do anything else. But, got to do uh, parent, parenting stuff, stuff, responsible stuff. Just made the kids some uh, duck bacon. So they're eating some bacon right now. And uh, so I figure I come over here and put these slats up and then get this wall started. It's braced right here, so it's not going to, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's kind of coming along. I don't know if you can see some of the stuff, but it's coming along. But, yep. So, anyway, see if I can grab you real quick. Probably see it from there though. There you go. There's a little, little hole there for, and it's all, I put stone all the way through it. There's like a giant cement stone all through there, and it makes a channel all the way to that pipe. Um, I just gotta cover everything up and make sure I can fill the sides in so there's not a lot of air gaps and stuff. So either it'll channel air or it'll suck air. Either or, it's okay. But until then, this has been Paul from PA Readiness. Cheers.